Hi there everyone, this is Fun Furman from Oryxian and uh, welcome back, I know it has been a while but I am going to continue my uh, series on using GMAX for Microsoft Flight Simulator and what I have on the program today for you is uh, something that's not actually a continuation of the previous tutorial I posted a while back but it's a rather you know, easy method for people who have been developing sceneries for previous versions of Flight Simulator and with including ground textures and I'm gonna show you today how to convert those um, for use in Microsoft Flight Simulator um, for, for this um, exercise you essentially need uh, three programs the first one is of course GMAX and with the uh, FSX GMAX game pack installed uh, furthermore we need um, model converter X which is uh, available at fsdeveloper.com um, you will find a link to the relevant download in the description um, box of YouTube. Furthermore, you need uh, Flight Simulator 2002 Make MDL, which is, in contrast to the Flight Simulator 2002 GMAX game pack, available for public use and also available on fsdeveloper.com. You will also find this download in the description box on YouTube. And we're gonna focus on, on ground textures today and I'm just gonna quickly draw a plane I'm not exactly gonna explain today how to texture them that's for another moment and also um, you can see that in the earlier tutorial I'm just gonna create a plane and as you probably know there was there used to be a restriction with um, that you had need to, a separation of about once every 100 meters to use it in FSX and that is also something that I discussed in the previous tutorial but this, now I've come around and I found out that there's actually a way to get around this so this will make it really convenient for people who have been developing for FS2004 to convert their stuff because they don't need to redo the ground textures to include the separation I'm not gonna exactly gonna work any further in uh, GMAX right now I'm just gonna use the LOD uh, uh, name tool and create a new GUID just like you would for any other object and just gonna call it ground plane sorry that's my phone right now I'm gonna hit export selected and I'm just gonna uh, really navigate to the model converter X and I'm gonna save it as a model and I'm just gonna call it ground plane again I'm not so now it's actually exported and ready to go as an MDL file um, this, I'm not gonna save any changes because I'm not gonna use it really right now we open up model converter X which is a, a really great tool uh, from Dutchman Arno Gerritsen I uh, really recommend using it and right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick up this ground plane dot mdl file which is suitable for fsx and instead of continuing tweaking the mdl file i'm gonna export it and i'm gonna bring it back to an fsx object x file and now i'm not exactly sure still what this exactly does but somehow this actually means that you can use it in the um, can use it in the fsx to make mdl and make it compatible with FSX. So as you see, it's a bit messy here. I'm doing a lot. I've been doing a lot of development lately. And I'm gonna select it ground plane X, and we're gonna export it as ground plane. And I'm gonna select scenery, and make sure that on the option that you have to keep files, and has a night map if you have night textures. And most importantly, don't forget to uncheck the crash tick box because otherwise you will have some problems with people just driving around when you're taxiing around when your airport and they will just get a crash report so um, I'm not going to change the heading because I'm, as I told you earlier I'm not going to use it so I'm just going to export it and now we have exported it to a BGL file which is usable in and can be edited as an ASM file so right now here we are with the ground plane.asm uh, file and we're gonna focus on this part here 
which is, needs to be replaced with the proper tweak which can also be found on FS developer let's go on you see how often we'll rely on this it's a really great source that I really recommend and I thank all the people that have been putting up this source for a while I just have some trouble selecting it here there we go so we basically replaced this part here of the object uh, zero start label word and it gets a layer and that's and I have to remove this line here because otherwise it's double. So right now we uh, save crown plane that exam and um, basically you have to run it to the um, BGL compiler that's provided with um, FS uh, game back to BGLC and then after that you should be ready to go really it, it does work in um, FSX this way and this can actually be seen in numerous sceneries I've made now. Um, the latest Arabian Airports X Muscat is one example of that. In fact, the uh, underground has significantly lower amount of draw calls in comparison with the others. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching and see you later.